And uh, just a few things I want to say about giving in general. First, giving isn't just about handing over our money to the church or taking care of the practical aspects of our life together, although that is, that is part of it. Second, giving isn't just about lending a helping hand, uh, helping people that are less fortunate than we are, people who struggle to make ends meet, although that is also a part of it. But third, and more importantly, giving, giving is an act of obedience. It's, a, it's an act of obedience to God. It's an act of sacrifice to God. We give to the church. We make a pledge because God asks us to. It's also an act of worship. It's a way of giving thanks to God for everything that we've been given. So God wants us to give to the church. To this place and the people in it, you and me, we're tangible signs of God's kingdom in the world, and we need to support that. But most importantly, I think, giving a percentage of our income to the church is about sharing and connecting. It's a way of saying, I care about you. I care about this place, and I care about our life together. It's really a tangible way of saying, I love you. So this week, as you begin to pray about your financial gift to resurrection for 2024, ask yourself two questions. And I'll be sending these in an email to remind you. How much does this place and these people mean to you? How much does this place and these people mean to you? And what would your life be like? without this church? What would your life be like without this church? So next week, I'm going to talk about ways in which we can give to resurrection. And the week after that, I'll be talking about what you're giving to and how you benefit.